Hi students, welcome to exercise 38, products and quotients of functions. So very similar to sum and differences from exercise 37, except here products means we are going to multiply functions together, and quotients means we are going to divide them. Alright, so h of x is equal to f times g this time, so it's a multiplication of f times g. So if h of x, okay, is going to be equal to f, which is x plus 1, times g, which is 2x minus 3. So technically, this would be an equation for h of x. Okay, the expanded version, we can expand it. Okay, and you ex multiply all that through. It's 2x squared uh, minus x minus 3. But this h of x would also be a good uh, equation and solution. Right, write an equation for k of x if k of x is equal to g over f. Well, k of x is simply the division of 2x minus 3 divided by x plus 1. All right, well, what's the domain of the graphs of h and k? Well, the domain of h is just a quadratic function. The domain of f and the domain of g is all the real numbers. So therefore, for h of x... The domain of h of x would be x is all the real numbers. Okay, for k of x, well, since we cannot divide by 0, the function and denominator can never be, uh, not equation, equal. Let's just say equal. So the function and denominator can never equal to 0. Therefore, f of x cannot equal to 0 here, which means that the domain of k would be x is not equal to negative 1. So x is all the real numbers, except that x is not equal to negative 1. All right. <clears throat> if h of x is equal to 2x squared minus 2x plus 2, and h of x is equal to f times g, write two possible solutions for f and g. Basically, what I'm asking you here is give me two different options for f and g, if h is this. Okay, well, there's one obvious one that h of x could be just the factors. So if we factor this, so it'd be 2x and x, uh, it'd be minus 2 minus 1. So this means, therefore, f of x could be 2x minus 1, and g of x could be x minus 2. And when you multiply them together, you get h of x. The little bit less obvious one, but actually easier solution, would be this. Let's say h of x is equal to 1 times 2x squared minus 5x plus 2. Therefore, simply, therefore, f of x would be equal to 1, and g of x would be the exact same value of the function as h of x. So kind of cheating, right? This is probably the solution you want. You want. But if you want to cheat the system a little bit, you can tell that, hey, one of them's 1 and the other one's that. If I told you one cannot be a constant function, therefore this is a constant because it's just a value uh, that never changes, then you'd have to go and move to that one. All right, so example three, using the graphs of f of x and g of x given below, answer the following questions. So g of x is the interior one, right? g of x is your parabola, and f of x is the exterior, which is the linear function. All right, identify all the zeros of the function h of x if h is f times g. So if you remember from the, the sum and uh, difference, when you do something like this, all you're doing is multiplying, or in this case multiplying, the y values. Okay, so for this to be a zero, either f or g have to be equal to zero. Okay, so therefore, in this case, since g of x is equal to zero at two and zero, and f of x is equal to zero at one, those would be the zeros. So note, when f of x equals 0 and g of x equals 0, the function h of x will also equal 0. Because don't forget, you're multiplying y values. So the zeros would be uh, x equals negative 2, x equals to negative 1, and x equal to 0. All right, evaluate the following expressions. So this is f divided by g of 1. So another way to write this would be f of 1 divided by g of 1. Okay, so for f of 1, we go back to our graph, our function f is this one, at x equals 1, 
our value of our function is negative 4. So f would be, f of 1 would be negative 4. Now g of 1, g of 1, again the parabola, at x equals 1, we have 3. So f of g of 1 would be equal to negative 4 thirds. All right, for the second one, f times g of negative 3. So again, this would be another way of writing f of negative 3 times g of negative 3. Okay, so this would be the same notation. So f of negative 3, again, I go back to my graph. Negative 3 is over here. f is the linear. So y is equal to 4. Okay, so you'd have y equals to 4 times g of negative 3. And g of negative 3 is 3. Right? That's the function right there. So you have 3. Go back. And therefore you have 12. And last one, f of g of 0. Well, this is, again, very similar to this notation. You have f of 0 divided by g of 0. Okay? And f of 0. Well, f of 0 is uh, negative 2. Right at x equals 0 is negative 2. So you'd have negative 2. And g of 0, same value, is 0. So notice, hope you guys notice something right here. This cannot happen. You cannot divide negative 2 by 0. And therefore, how we say this is we say this is undefined. Okay, so it's not no solution because there's no equation here. You're just trying to find the value of this expression. So the value of this, this expression is undefined because you cannot divide by 0. So this sm small little difference. Um, I think I would accept no solution, but the idea is this is undefined because it's not an equation, it's just an expression. So the expression is undefined. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, hope that lesson made sense, and uh, see you after the break.